Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIWA. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIWA. In a previous video, we showed you how to create an additional view that is optimized for mobile devices in displacing portrait orientation. You will find the link in the description down below. In this new video, we see how to optimize the mobile view of our report in Power BI and especially how to use bookmarks in selection pane. So let's get started. We have this report about COVID-19 which displays many indicators like total cases, total vaccinations. We have cases in deaths by country. And using bookmark navigator, we can display data in a map visual, line visual or table visual. For the map visual, we can choose the indicator to display as value. We also have filters, one at the top of the report using the slicer and the second one in the filters pan. Ok, so we want to create a mobile optimized version of this page. In the view ribbon, we select mobile layout. We see a scrollable canvas shaped like a phone and a page visuals pane that lists all the visuals that are on the original report page. Each visual in the page visuals pane appears with the, its name for easy identification. So an important point is that you need to rename visuals for easy identification. Each visual has also a visibility indicator which changes depending on the visibility status of the visual in the current state of the web report view. The visibility indicator is useful when working with bookmarks. We can display only the visible visuals or hidden ones by changing the filter by appearance. Let's add visuals to the mobile layout canvas by dragging a visual from the page visuals pan to the phone canvas. As you can see, we can resize the visuals very easily. A new update of the mobile layout is that we can now activate the selection in the bookmark pans. The selection pan enables you to change the layering order. The first listed visual is on the topmost layer. The last listed visual is on the bottommost layer. To change the order, you can drag and drop a visual to another place on the list. The selection pan also has a visibility indication for each visual in the list, but it's not possible to change the visibility in the mobile layout view. This must be done in the regular web layout view. Ok, now let's continue adding some visuals to create a nice mobile view.
Let's resize the text in the buttons. To move a set of visuals, we can select them and then move them using the keyboard. Ok nice, now we completed the view of the map bookmark, if we select line bookmark for example we have this empty space, it's because the map visual is hidden in this bookmark. So if you go back to page visuals and select visible, we will get the visible ones for this bookmark, let's add the line chart and the title. Same applies for table bookmark, let's modify it. Now let's go back to the desktop layout and publish the report. The report is now published successfully. Let's switch to the Power BI mobile apps to see what we have. First, let us see some of the important updates of the mobile app. As you can see, we have this new report footer as simplified in the improved footer 
which make it easier to find and understand the actions to do with reports. Next, we can monitor our goals in scorecards directly from the mobile app using the Goals tab. The last thing I want to show you is we can use the dark mode in the Power BI app. To activate the dark mode, go to the settings page, scroll down to appearance, tap it and choose your desired mode. We can switch between light and dark themes in the app's appearance settings. Ok, that's it for the mobile apps, let's now open the non-mobile optimized report. First thing to note is that the non-mobile optimized report pages now open directly in any orientation. If you're holding your phone in portrait orientation, when you come to such a page, you will see a small regular view of the page instead. You can still tilt your phone if you want a larger view of the data, or you can just use pinch and zoom on the smaller image. Now let's open the optimized report. As you can see the small mobile icon indicates that the report has a mobile view. If we open it, we see the view that we customized in Power BI desktop. Let's check if everything works fine, especially bookmarks. Yes, perfect, everything is good. One more thing, we have this filled in filter icon which indicates there are active filters on the page. Tap the filter icon in the report footer. The filters appear in panels on the filter pan. Active filters are highlighted. We can then change the filter, choose between basic and advanced filtering. So that's it for this video, if you have any questions, post them in the comment below, if you liked the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.